Well, it's JV Day once again for the Astros. Justin Verlander making his return, acquired in a trade earlier this week, and his first start back with the Astros after making 16 starts for the Mets this year. And as for Nestor Cortez, that's going to be a key. How long can he go? Can he keep this Houston offense from starting to click together now that Altuve and um, Alvarez are back in the same lineup. And he's going to walk Altuve to start this game, try to get him to chase on a pitch down and in. Altuve draws a walk. Pena in the first game of this series was batting in the two spot. But he has hit lefties well this year, hitting 311. Swing and a miss. He's down on strikes one away. Tucker one for six with a double in his career off Cortez. Swing and a miss. Good stuff. As Nestor dialed it up to strike out Tucker two way. Here's Alex Bregman. Now there goes Altuve. The pitch is way up high. Rourke Betts throw is late. Altuve steals his ninth bag in ten attempts. The Astros have a runner in scoring position with two out. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Three straight strikeouts for Cortez. The pitcher on the inning opening walk. Astros nothing. Yankees coming to bat. Well, Justin Verlander is still in New York, but he's got the right uniform on. It is the Houston Astros. Show logo across the chest of Justin Verlander went six and five has a 3.15 ERA and the numbers are trending in the right direction. Bowers at 229 10 homers 23 RBI. Oh there we go starts him out with a three pitch strikeout. Welcome back Justin Verlander. So the bad news is Justin Verlander the first batter after he picks up a strikeout calls for the medical staff. The good news it's it looks, on the back of the hand. It looks like there's a cut well, on his right knuckle. I have no idea how that got there how long it's been there. Obviously it's not going to affect him unless it continues to bleed. Here is Judge. He's a 289 20 homers 42 RBIs. The one two and Judge hits us in the air to center coming in for it Dubon still coming in. And Dubon makes the catch on the jog for the second out. So a five pitch walk followed by a four pitch walk. Now the Yankees have two on with two outs. LeMayu at 235, eight homers, 29 RBIs. There you see the blood all over the back of his pants. Did he go around on the breaking ball upstairs? He did, says Angel Hernandez. And LeMayu down on strikes, not happy with the first base umpire. Isaiah at 253, six homers, 29 RBIs. And it's grounded into left field for a base hit. A ground ball that found the shortstop hole. Harrison at 252, seven homers, 33 RBIs. And that one is ripped down the left field line. That ball is up the wall. The throw to second is Bader's going for two. He's in there stopping at third. Connor Falefer. And the Yankees have second and third. Nobody out. Bobby got a big base hit on Thursday. Broke a 3 3 tie. That gave the Yankees the victory. Fly ball center field that should get in the run. Dubon with the catch tagging. Connor Falefa he'll score going to third is Bader. He'll get there. A sack fly for Volpe. His 40th ribby and a 1-0 Yankee lead. Got him. Big strikeout right there. Rorpet left the zone on a high fastball. Verlander picks up a big strikeout for the second out. That ball's hit well to right field. Tucker will make a running catch for the final out of the inning. Jake Bowers hit the ball hard on a 2-0 pitch, but he lines out to end the second. The Yankees do score. It's 1-0, two away here in the third. Jose Altuve walked his first time up. He is right now the only base runner of the day for the Astros. Altuve sends one high and deep to left field on a 1-2 pitch. This game is tied up. Jose Altuve's eighth home run of the year, his second of his career against Cortez, and the Astros have tied it. Home run number 200 of Jose Altuve's career. Two outs, nobody on, 1-1 one, one ball game. Verlander deals. Line drive, base hit. That'll go all the way to the corner. Stanton rounds first. He's going to go to second. The throw is... Not in time. It's a double for Stan with two outs. You start to think that maybe he's turned the corner a little bit. I hope so. Getting... I mean, he hopes so, too. Yeah. Here's LeMahieu. And that ball into center field will be down for a hit. Played quickly by Dubon. Stan does not have great speed. The throw is going to get him. Martin Maldonado makes the tag. They easily get him. You have to score on that with two outs. And since Giancarlo can't run, it didn't make any sense to send him. Kyle Tucker struck out his first time. Pitch is cut on him. Now Tucker strikes out again. That's strikeout number six. Now the payoff is strike three called. So Bregman is called out at seven strikeouts. 
Swing and a miss. He strikes out the side. Eight strikeouts. Four innings for Nestor Cortez. Off the I.L. Back onto the mound and dominating. Chaz has been doing a lot more running this year than in the past. Chaz with a previous career high of four stolen bases. Here he's 12 for 13. 2-0. Cut on a miss. Runner goes. Throw to second. Got him. Good throw by Rort, but in a very quick throw. Swing and a miss. Kessinger down on strikes. One down. Here is Bowers, a left-hand hitter. High fly ball, deep right field. Tucker back, turning, looking. Singa, second deck. Another home run for Bowers. Yankees lead 2-1. Jake Bowers, the man of Yankee hours. He homers to right in the second deck. And the Yankees take a 2-1 lead. It'll be Maldonado, Altuve, and Pena against Hamilton in the second inning of relief. Now, here is the 0-2 to Maldonado. Struck him out swinging slider away. The third strikeout for Hamilton and the 11th by Yankee pitcher. Strike three, Altuve thought it was ball four. He's down looking. He was taken off his arm guard and headed first. Up the middle, slowed down by Hamilton, grabbed by Volpe, fires to first, score at 1-6-3, and score at the end of the inning as the Astros strand one. So Bowers at first with two out, bottom of the seventh, two on Yanks. And here comes Dusty. Justin might be able to talk his way into facing Aaron Judge. That's another reason why he visited the mound. And pops this one way up in the air. By the time this ball comes down, Bowers is going to be at third base. Altuve stays with it and puts it away for the final out of the inning as that ball was a mile high. Justin Verlander, welcome back to Houston. Seven innings of two-run baseball. Oh, well, here's Glaber Torres to lead off. Glaber has singled in two trips in field single. Hit in the air to deep right center field. That ball is high. It is far. It is gone. It's Glaber Day. Glaber at his best hitting to right center. And he homered to right center. And like a good Glaber, Torres is there. And the Yankees now take a 3 1 lead. And that is 17th home run for Glaber. Now, when he hits that, doesn't it feel like it's like a weight is lifted off that there's an extra insurance run there? Two to yes. one against this team still makes me nervous. Yes. Allen's at second. LeMahieu is at first. Bader with a double off the wall to left in the second. Grounded to third in the fourth. Struck out in the sixth. That one is chopped to short. They go to second one. On to first. It's a double play. So Graveman gets out of trouble. Six. Four, three, and we go to the ninth inning. Yankees up by two. And the Astros are down to their final out. So that'll lead a bit up to Alex Bregman. Here is the 2-2 two -two to Bregman. A ground ball toward the middle. Volpe feels, fires, got him! Ball game over. Yankees win. The Yankees win. One run on two hits, and the Yankees win the ball game three to one. The pitching. Absolutely sensational beginning with Nestor Cortez. 